Hi guys, this is Shahrig and welcome back to Globetrot with Arabic. So yesterday was day four in our Lebanese Arabic 30 day challenge courses, which I run with my students on Zoom. And I was supposed to be doing a 30 day challenge with you guys on YouTube and upload a lesson every day. But yesterday I didn't upload a lesson, but don't worry, I'm going to upload one now. And maybe after our classes in the evening, I'm going to come back to YouTube and upload a quick lesson with you guys so I can make it up for yesterday. So yalla, let's begin. Yesterday, oh, actually today in the morning, in the morning class, we saw the word di'an, di'an. And sometimes we use it with ya. Yeah. We say ya di'an, ya di'an. And it's something we use quite a lot in Lebanon. Before I explain it to you and I tell you what it means, let's look at the roots of the word and what family it's related to. And then we come back to the word di'an and I explain it to you. Okay, so the word di'an, if you look at it, has three letters dad, ya, and ayn dad, ya, and ayn and this is the root of the word and all the words that have these roots ha are related to anything like the meaning of them would be related to anything uh, that has to do with loss or losing okay so for example we can extract words from these roots and form verbs and nouns and participles. So, for example, we have verb da. Da. Da means he was lost. For example, da al kalb. Da al kalb. The dog uh, was lost. Like we don't know where the dog is. Da al kalb. I don't know where he is. The dog is lost. So that's in the past tense. Bidir is the present tense of the word. So da is in the past and bidir is in the present. The participle of da and bidir is da ya, da ya. Da ya is the person or the thing that is lost. It's a participle. A participle in Arabic is called ism fa'il, da ya. Uh, for example, uh, you can say the dog is lost as well, like like his current state is lost. You can say al kalb da ya. الكلب ضايع. So if I say ضاع الكلب in the past, the dog got lost. And ضايع الكلب ضايع. Like we don't know where the dog is. Still, you know, the dog is lost. It's the current state. Okay, الكلب ضايع. Also, we use ضايع in the metaphorical sense when I am not literally lost, but for example, I am confused. ضايع. أنا ضايع in the present tense. So ضايع. Is the masculine participle and da'ya is the feminine participle. So if I say ana da'ya, it's a way to say I'm confused, I'm lost, I don't know what to do. Ana da'ya, or maybe even I'm driving my car and I don't know where I am. Story of my life. I can say ana da'ya, I am lost and I am confused. As a guy, you say ana da'ya. So we have so far da, he was he he got lost. He kalb da. Bidir is the present tense and Daya and Daya are the participles. Now, coming back to the word Di'an, we use it to say, oh, what a loss, okay, or what a waste, okay? Ya Di'an. For example, if God forbid somebody dies, you can say, and he was young maybe, you know, you say, Ya Di'an al-Shabib, Ya Di'an al-Shabib. Shabib means youth. Ya di'an il shabib. I'm pronouncing it as is shabib. Ya di'an is shabib. Like it's a way to say what a wasted youth, uh, you know, and to say what a loss of for the person who passed away. You can also just say di'anu or di'ana if you if something happened to a person and again he passed away. You can say di'anu, you know, what a loss. Al like as if you're saying a loss over him or something like that, which means he's a loss, he is a loss, di'ano. And if it's a woman, you can say di'ano. And it's not just about people. You can also say uh, when it comes to things, like maybe I bought lots of food and I invited lots of pe uh, people and nobody ate anything. And then in the end I say di'an al-akl, di'an al-akl. Like what a loss is the food. It's not like the food is lost or anything. It's a way to say, what a shame, like nobody ate and now the food is going to go to waste or something. So that's why you're saying, oh, what a waste or what a loss. 
يا ديعان الاكل اور ديعان الاكل Uh, sometimes we use this to say like uh, to talk about time like if you spend time with someone and he ends up being like you know the not good quality person or something you can say Di'an al-wat yalli addaytu ma'u I'm saying it slowly of course I'm not going to say it like that Di'an al-wat yalli addaytu ma'u you say it fast and you say Di'an al-wat yalli addaytu ma'u Di'an al-wat Uh, what a wasted time but it's not it's not literally you're not saying what a wasted time you're saying a loss or a waste the time it's like you're saying the time is a waste which date is I spent a date is I spent it a date with him ma means with and ma means with him Or you can say, Ya di'an al-wa'at li addaytu ma'u. So that's in terms of time. We can say that. Let me see if I have another example here. Uh, oh, so for example, also if uh, if uh, if I don't know, uh, my friend as well is going out with a person who's not not worth it, or like you know, I just want to say you deserve better or something. I say uh, to him, di'anak. Dianak fia. If I'm talking to a guy, I'm saying you're a loss in her. You know, like you know, you're too good for her. You know, dianak fia. And if you want to say it to a girl, you say dianik fi. Dianik fi. If you want to say to her, like you know, you deserve much better. Like you're a loss for him. You're you're a loss being with him. Dianik fi. So dianak fia. And Di'anik fi. I think these are the examples I wanted to talk about today. Let's quickly recap. So the word Di'an means like a loss. Da is the past tense of verb to be lost. It means it got lost or he got lost. Bidir is the present. And Da'ir is the participle, the person who's being, uh, who is lost or confused. Da'ir. And then we came back to the word Di'an. Di'an, ya Di'an. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I might see you later today. Bye now.